wondering how to generate a serial number for your data set in Excel. Um, you have a long list of data sets and you just want to generate a serial number for it. Um, in today's video, I will show you how you can use sequence nested together with count or count A to generate a serial number. Hi, welcome to Digital World Tech Academy YouTube channel. My name is Akima Biodo. So let's dive into today's video on how to use sequence nested with count A or count. Now, I have this data set and I have an um, empty column for the serial number. Now, um, I want to generate a serial number for, the, for all these data sets and I don't really know the amount of the, the row, the amount of the row that I have here. Now, to do that, I'm going to use sequence. If I write the sequence formula here, if I write it here like this, it's going to cover up the second cell that I have here, which is cell B2, and I don't want that to happen. So I'll just clear this, I'll just clear this, and I'll come to my formula bar up here, and I'll say equals to sequence, equals to sequence. Now, I'm, I'm not going to use count. If I use count, count does not recognize the alphabet. It only recognizes the number. So what I'll just use is count A, because I'm dealing with alphabet, which are the country names. What I'll just do is I'll type in count A, count A. Let me just select count A, and I'll just select the whole of this root column down. So from B2 downward, I can just close my brackets, just close my brackets, and this, this there is the bracket for count A. I need to close the bracket for the sequence and press enter, and automatically you can see it's going to generate all the serial number for me. Now, this generated it for me in one, two, three. But in a situation whereby I want to generate it, probably I, I just want to customize it. I just want to customize it. So I can still use sequence to do that. I can still use sequence to customize it. So I'll just type in equals to sequence, equals to sequence, then count A, count A. Select my count A, select everything from the beginning to the end, then close my bracket for the count. Now, it's asking me, the next argument is the columns. How many columns? I just need one column. And the start, what should it start with? Okay, let's say I want to start from 5, 10, 15, 20. That is the step that I want to. So I'll just say, okay, you should start with 5. And the step should be in 5, 5. So the first number will be 5, followed by 10, followed by 15. So I'll just say, the step should be 5. And I'll close my brackets, then press enter. So this will actually generate it for me. There are a lot of ways you can actually generate serial number. So this is 5, 10, 15. You can do it in another way. You can say, okay, you want it to start with 100. You want it to start with 100, but the step should be in 10, 10. So 100, 110, 120. So we are just going to say equals to sequence. Then I'll press count A. Count A. Choose count A. Then I'm just going to select from the beginning to the end. I'll just close my brackets. That will give it the row, comma. Then the column, I need it to write it in one particular column. Then it should start with 100. And the step should be in 10. Then I can just close my brackets and press enter. So this will be the... So if you start with 100, 110, 120. So that is how you can use sequence nested with count A or count to generate a serial number. At this point guys, do I need to beg you to subscribe to our YouTube channel? Subscribe now and remember to turn on the notification icon so that you get notified whenever we drop awesome video like this. I'll see you in the next video.